Welcome back to Marvel Puzzle Quest with me, P.I. McLeod. I got a short one tonight, but there's some more important little news factoids behind it. So, the whole point of tonight's thing is, well, couplefold. One, informational. Two, Crash the Titans. Um, we'll start with the information part first. What is this? What is this? It's new is what it is. I mean, you know what time of year it is, right? Do you? Do you? Here, let me remind you. That's what time of year it is. April's, April 1st, or otherwise known as April Fool's Day, is right around the corner. Literally, according to my little timer here, I'm going to start my event in about 13 hours. That's when I set myself up for it. Um, and I will try to run a few PvP rounds with it on my own time. I got a Max Champ Bagman for that purpose and that purpose alone. Um, beyond that, that's usually what happens for April's Fool April Fool's Day. Um, so let's go back to this. Can't be any coincidence, right? It starts in 7 hours, 38 minutes, according to this little timer. Um... And, you know, you got Starlord dressed in his 80s workout gear. There's a lot, a laugh, a ha-ha in there somewhere, right? Something's going on. If you look at the event rules, it tells you about personal trainer Starlord here to help with sweat to the greatest tunes. They're committed to 8-track. Check back every day for new missions. And play as many as you can to earn points and progression rewards. What rewards are we talking about? These ones. Some, uh, some basic token, elite token, heroic token, and a 4-star cover for Starlord himself. 200 HP, though. And 200 HP though, and 200 HP though. So if you're asking me what the real prize is, it's that they're giving away 600 hero points. That's not bad for what is probably, and I'm just guesstimating here, I'm guessing based on a track record that MPQ has for us. It says check back every day for new missions and play as many as you can to earn points and progression rewards. What are these rewards with? 100 points, 200 points, 300 points, 400 points, 500 points, 600 points, 700 points. I bet you it's a, one of those one note a day deals again. Remember how we just had that Ghost Rider thing? It lasted like five to six days, and one or two of the days they gave us two nodes. The rest of the days were one node. It equaled up to 700 points. I bet you this is like this again, only this one's probably a little funnier. It's less... Ghost Rider and Deadpool. This is more Star Lord and 80s themed. <laughs> so I'm just guessing, but you best believe, yes, I'm going to run these on stream when I see them near daily. Okay? So I will be going over it. But that's then. Also, this hit me with a left hook. I didn't see this one coming at all. You know why I didn't see this coming? Because I was focused on this guy right here. When someone comes to eat your planet, you focus up and look. Um, uh, yeah, now, theatrics aside, yes, it's a boss. We've been through this before. I'm already, you know, caught up my nodes as best as possible. My alliance, up, you know, very good guys. We're on round five. Good job. Um, we're doing good, you school adventures. Um, that said, this came out of nowhere. I did not expect a puzzle gauntlet today. I probably, yes, could have looked it up on the forums and been clued in, but... Oh well. No, I'm not doing that now. I will probably run it tomorrow night. Around this time-ish, actually. It's kind of, yeah, maybe this time. Maybe closer to a half hour later from now. Something like that. But I will run five nodes of Puzzle Gauntlet tomorrow night. And, well, we'll see. I might get the daily workout in earlier in the day tomorrow. We'll see how my, uh, how my work schedule allows me to do it. <clears throat> Anyways, don't tell anyone. Um, so without further ado, though, the reason we're here, the reason I'm here doing this, Deadpool Daily, Crash the Titans, I gotta catch this one up because I got too many video streams come out. We got Daily Workout tomorrow during the day, if I can get that in, um, Puzzle Gauntlet at night, uh, Galactus is gonna hunger and need me to kick his butt Sunday for, uh, uh for after 8 p.m. Eastern time so I can get all that, um, all those hard boss notes out of the way in one video, Got a lot of stuff coming up. This one's against Jean Grey. Cheating, as always, with a 555. I say cheating with a capital cheat. 
uh, because not only are we not allowed to have more than 13 covers for your character, but you ever notice when you play against a Jean Grey, the first, when the board fills up, there almost is always a match five waiting. Just a simple match five. They want to bait you into it. Because if you don't know, Jean Grey's blue is a passive. It says, hey, whenever you, the player, uh, make a match five against her, the opponent, she claps back with like a two turn stun and a bunch of damage it sucks it really does uh, um that said uh when gene gray came out uh that was a big deal um i think some people the top players were abusing match five and you know like cascade mechanics but it wasn't like a rampant thing i don't think it was killing the game but hey the developers like you know it'd be funny Let's make this character really stop people in their tracks. And for a little bit it did. I mean, I don't think it ruined anything. It just kind of made everyone think twice. When you see Jean Grey and the opposing team, you're like, oh, shoot, I can't do my match five fun anymore. Not unless you, you know, kill her or stun her. That's that's really the trick, just stunning her or obviously killing her first. Her purple and her green go together. Um, one of them... They both do team damage. One of them makes special tiles on the board. The other one removes enemy special tiles from the board. They're both somewhat expensive. Um, they're not overly expensive, but they're you know a little pricier. Um, but the, it, there is something to be said about her blue pass of that match five protection. If you are to use her, um, I do find it fun to try to line up match fives. You know, a complete horizontal match five or a complete vertical match five, and just let the computer match it. Because sure, they get a match five with a critical tile, right? But all of a sudden, you just hit their entire team for big damage and a two turn stun on everybody. Um, it's kind of a fun way to abuse it if you really think about it. It can be hard to line it up, but that's why there's characters like Domino or, um, you know, four star Wolverine or you know, five star Wanda or, you know, people that really trim the board down. You could use Cloak and Dagger. Uh, there's people that can change the colors of the board and you know it. Anyways, without further ado um, or droning on about it, let's go kick this uh, Jean Grey's butt with Polaris, the best four star character in the game and arguably better than a lot of the five stars right now. Um, Polaris came onto the scene, unless you're living in Iraq, you already know this, as an amazing force to be reckoned with. She is, um, if you're new to Marvel Puzzle Quest, you gun for her. You max her out as fast as you can. She will change your game uh, amazingly so. Um, her only glaring weakness, and I know people call for nerfs all the time, but she is one of the few power, 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 powerful characters that does not need a nerf because look at her hit points. It's over there above the level up button, 15,992. Okay. She's only, in my book, she's level 312 with only not not even 16,000 hit points. She's paper thin. She's one of these, like one of the thinnest four star characters there is. Um, most five-star people can punch right through her in just a couple of matches. She's gone. Um, if you have a cheap stun option, you can also stop her in her tracks that way. She's not that much of a threat on defense. It's annoying if you ignore her. That's where you fail. If you let her get away with her shenanigans too long, that's where you fail. Um, but that's where, you know, if you're going to use her, you get crafty, you know, put her behind Colossus to make her, you know, five-star Colossus, that is, to make her last longer. Put her with four-star Deadpool, so people are going to think twice about targeting her first. Um, you know, or actually the new one, uh, Gertrude, you're targeting Polaris first. Well, you're going to pay for it with countdowns that hurt you a lot. Um, there's so many ways to protect her while you do your dirty work. Um... But that is her weakness. It's just straight up punching her in the face really hard. Knock her out quick. She doesn't have a lot of hit points. It can be done nice and quick. Um, also, don't play with strike attack projectiles against her and expect to beat her at her own game. Unless you have a plan to down her real fast, that will be your downfall. If you don't know her abilities, let's go through it real quick. 
I'm going to start with the green and the purple and work up to the blue because the blue is the only active power she has. This green, um, at the start of each turn, she does damage for each special tile on the board. Okay, if none exists, she creates a friendly strike tile, and it's a decently strong one, too. Um, it is only one tile and she only creates the one if there's none on the, on the board. And so in other words, if you have three star loot cage with you or three star iron fist, if you get the idea, if they make their protect tile or attack tile, she's not going to make this. She's just going to do her damage every turn. Um, but she does that 177 damage on, according to this right here for every special tile on the board. That's also a power. So obviously it's getting amplified by any strike tiles you have out there. That's also amplified by, I don't know, Okoye or um, Apocalypse. It gets really strong if you really want it to be. It's free damage every turn. Just call it what it is. Electromagnetic resist re resonance. Ugh, I can't talk. This is amazing. Whenever your team matches or destroys a strike attack protectile, deal damage and create three friendly special tiles of that tile's type. With each strength, you know, that. Uh, point being, you match a tile, enemy or friendly, and you make three versions of it after it's gone. The board becomes yours really quickly. Um, which, of course, feeds into this, because now you have more, more tiles on the board to hit with. Um, finally, there's iron proficiency, which is really good still. Um, I put it at level 4 because that's what gives you an extra turn of stun. I don't really need the extra strength tiles. Um, that's not what I'm using her for. <laughs> if I want strong tiles, I'll play with Kitty or someone else like that. She's for filling the board up and, and cluster effing the opponent. Um, 7 blue gets you a 4 turn stun, 4 friendly strikes, 4 enemy strikes. That's 8 special tiles on a board that she gets to play with. And someone's stunned for four turns. All for seven blue. It's one of the best blues in the game, bar none. This one is right up there with Beta Ray Bill and his Clash of the Worthy uh, power for six blue. So, definitely an abusable, great ability. This whole package is awesome. It really is. You can't go wrong with uh, Polaris. And for these reasons, I put this Vibranium more on her. I keep it on her almost all the time. Her powers deal more damage with rank one, and you see her powers get triggered every turn, every time you match tiles, etc., etc. Rank two, when you make a match four, you create a protect tile. Well, that's just more fodder for her. Support a character takes less damage from enemy matches? Yes, please. I told you, she's paper thin, right? And then rank four, when you make a match in a team's strongest color, there's a chance to gain one extra AP of that color. There's nothing really so much special about that one per se. It's just gravy on top of the other three ranks. I don't have rank five yet, but that's a chance to fortify a random friendly special tile. You know how much how much fun that'll be to match things twice with her? <laughs> yeah, Vibranium Ore, I believe, is a Polaris special. Anyways, so if you don't have her, get her. If you don't have her, champ, champ her. If you can, max her. She's amazing. Best character in the game. Um, four star wise, at least. Uh, is it? Is she better than some of the five stars? Yes. Is she better than all the five stars? No. But she deserves to be mentioned with a lot of meta teams and play. She's frequently used with four to five star transitioning teams like Okoye Polaris or... Um, Polaris plus Kitty plus Rocket, you know, um, just as examples. So let's do this. Who wears green better? <laughs> A character effects are on, and let's go. Now, when you're playing Polaris, one of the downfalls of her, besides her being paper thin, <clears throat> is that you need a tile to really get rolling with her. So you, that first turn is a blank screen, hence why she likes being teamed with Rocket so much, right? The second turn, you finally have a tile, and hey, there you go, luck hit me. I got my, there you go, I got a match four, I matched my strike tile just by lucky coincidence, and now I'm doing damage per turn. If I can get blue, that'd be really good. But I might not need it. 
you can see why the Jean Grey would be a, a horrible foe for her if she actually got that one ability off that eats away at your tiles. I want to say, which one is it? There you go, purple. Converts six random enemy special tiles to basic tiles. It's annoying. Don't want her to deal that purple. That's why I've been matching purple. Secondary would be blue if I can get a hold of some. Oh, she got that one. But she's almost dead. Look at that health. And this should kill her right here. That's it. Polaris wins. Easy victory. Bye, Jean Grey. Um, you might think to yourself, oh, that's because you have a level 312 Polaris. No, you can do that with a much lesser Polaris. She's very good. Um, if you need extra help, don't forget you have boosts. Boost your blue AP up so you can stun her quicker. All you have to do is get that blue off once, and it's only seven, and you'll have eight tiles to play with. You might have a few less if you have less blue covers. Point is, create those tiles as quickly as you can. Use a different support if you need to to make other strike or attack tiles for you quicker. Whatever you have that helps you make tiles, you should have this one done pretty easily. And that's all I got for you tonight. Like I said, tomorrow... We'll hit the puzzle gauntlet in the evening, or late uh, late night, I should say. Daily workout, we'll try to do some in the day. And that's about it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye.